Hi, I'm Jim Smith with Pan Pipe Productions. Water Treatment in 10 Minutes is a series of training videos for water treatment operators who want to learn new skills, enhance existing skills, or improve plant operations. In this video, I will discuss the duties and responsibilities of a water treatment plant operator. A water treatment plant operator is an important job in any community. They are responsible for the quality and safety of the treated water leaving the water treatment plant. An operator must meet the goals of their treatment plant. Goal number one is to produce a safe drinking water that meets or exceeds all state and federal regulations. An operator must also ensure the plant meets its permit requirements. For example, any discharges to a stream, river, or lake must be properly treated before it can be released. An operator has the goal of producing a water that does not have a bad taste or odor. They must also ensure that demands of the distribution system are met. The amount of gallons used in a distribution system, or the system demand, varies throughout the day, and it is common for the plant rate to increase and decrease daily to meet that demand. The duties of an operator vary from utility to utility, but one of the key duties of all operators is to monitor the quality of the water at various stages of the treatment process. They monitor the water flowing in and out of the plant and the various chemicals used to treat the water. They must ensure the process is efficient and effective. A small unmonitored change in the water flows or the chemical flows can cause serious problems including flooding and producing unsafe water. The operator has two main sources of information to monitor the processes at the plant. Online or continuous monitors are instruments positioned throughout the plant. They constantly test the water and send information to the computer system controlling most plants. The operator monitors flows and water quality data on the plant computer and must react quickly when they notice a problem. Another source of information is the results from the laboratory tests they run during their shift. Common tests would include chlorine residual, turbidity or the amount of suspended particles in the water, pH or how acidic or basic the water is, alkalinity, and several others. These tests can warn the operators of a problem that might be missed by an online monitor or indicate that the online monitor or chemical feed system is not working properly. As treatment chemicals get used, they must be periodically replaced. Operator duties can include both ordering and receiving the chemicals. It is critical that each chemical is properly inspected to ensure it is the correct chemical and the chemical is offloaded into the proper tank. Offloading the wrong chemical or putting a chemical into the wrong tank can lead to a plant shutdown. As the demand for water in the distribution system changes throughout the day, the amount of treated water leaving the plant also changes. The operator is responsible for adjusting the plant flow rates. The filter removes particles from the water and at some point, typically every two or three days, a filter needs to be washed. Washing a filter involves taking it out of service and reversing the flow so the particles are removed. The operator is typically responsible for this activity. In some utilities, the operator is responsible for some maintenance activities, such as instrument calibration and minor repairs. Operators can also coordinate plant maintenance activities with the maintenance and engineering departments to ensure the work done at the plant is well planned and does not interfere with plant operations. Since the dosage of treatment chemicals is a crucial responsibility of the operator, it is important the operator knows why each chemical is fed at each stage in a treatment process and how each chemical functions. This knowledge allows the operator to make the correct response to changes such as an increase in the raw water turbidity or an increase in the raw water odors or a change in the chlorine demand. The water industry is strictly regulated Consequently, it is the responsibility of an operator to know the state and federal regulations related to the plant to ensure the utility is always in compliance with the regulations. Since plants operate 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, it is important to maintain an accurate and detailed log. At shift change, or when one operator is arriving and the other one is leaving, it is important to tell the oncoming operator all critical operational issues. However, sometimes during a shift change, not every important detail is discussed, so the oncoming operator should read the log at the beginning of each shift 
to understand the status of the plant. The plant log is also important for operators returning from their weekend or from vacation to catch up on important maintenance activities and operational issues that occurred while they were gone. So what is a typical day for a water treatment operator? While every plant is different, the basic job is to ensure the plant properly transforms raw water into drinking water. A shift is typically between 8 to 12 hours. The duties can vary at different utilities, but common duties include monitoring the water and the chemical flows at the plant, ensuring there are sufficient treatment chemicals, and if not, order a chemical delivery. Monitor water levels and water pressures on various systems and, and tanks at the plant. Monitor the turbidity or the suspended solids of the water from the time it enters the plant until the time it enters the distribution system. Removing turbidity from the raw water is a major aspect of water treatment. Suspended solids can harbor disease-causing organisms, and removing these solids is very important. In addition to turbidity, an operator also has to monitor the chlorine residual, pH, fluoride, temperatures, and other water quality aspects. This data comes from online instruments and from the tests the operators perform in the plant laboratory during the shift. However, the operator does more than just monitor the treatment process. Based on water quality data and the need to adjust the flows at the plant, an operator must make adjustments to the plant. As the raw water quality changes, say due to a rainstorm, the feed rate of the treatment chemicals must be changed. Maybe there is a leak on a chemical tank or a power failure causes a chemical pump to stop. It is the responsibility of the operator to quickly make the appropriate changes to keep the plant in service and continuously meet the regulations. The operator is responsible for accurately documenting the status of the plant and all changes made at the plant in the plant log. Monitoring the distribution system is also important to anticipate any changes to the plant flow rate or recognize a problem in the system so the plant is prepared to meet the distribution system demands. Another important duty of an operator is to periodically walk through the plant and to look for anything unusual or different such as a sparking wire or a pump that's out of service that should be operating. Listen for any unusual noises, such as a whining or banging noise that could indicate a problem with a pump. Feel the equipment as you walk by. Put your hand on it. Is it excessively hot or cold or vibrating more than normal? And be aware of any odors. Maybe something is burning or there is a chlorine leak. As an operator, Walking through the plant every day, sometimes several times a day, I noticed that there was a certain feel to the plant when it was running well. And when I would take a walk through the plant and something was wrong, I was able to kind of track it down. It might have been a, a noise or something I saw or an odor. One of the jobs of being an operator is to really know your plant. You really have to walk through it to get that feel for when the plant is running well. A water treatment operator is a great job but it does have a lot of responsibility, and at times it can be very challenging. Multiple factors such as flows, water quality, the number of filters that must be washed, maintenance activities, chemical deliveries, and many other issues are different on every shift. Multitasking is a critical skill to have as an operator to meet these challenges. An operator must also know the regulations related to the plant, so when they are managing an emergency, they are aware of the steps that must be made to keep the plant in compliance. An operator must also handle hazardous chemicals and know all the safety procedures. Since plants typically operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week, shift work is involved. Working nights, weekends, and holidays can be difficult. Obtaining the required operator certificate from the state can be challenging. To become certified, you must meet the education and work experience requirements and pass a test. To maintain a certificate, an operator must obtain between 12 and 36 continuing education contact hours, depending on a certificate, every three years. If you are interested in becoming a water treatment plant operator, the best way to prepare is to find a utility that has an internship program and determine if they have any requirements. As an intern, you do not need to have an operator certificate, but you can gain the work experience to obtain the certificate required for that plant. Take a class or a correspondence course to learn the fundamentals of water treatment. 
An excellent correspondence course is Volume 1, Water Treatment Plant Operations from the California State University, Sacramento. This course provides 90 contact hours and costs about $140. Most states accept this training and once completed and with the high school education, you would be eligible to take the test for T2 or D certificate depending on the state. Having a T2 certificate is a big advantage when interviewing for an internship. It shows you are serious about becoming an operator and you understand the basic concepts of water treatment. I hope this video was helpful. Please write your comments below and let us know if you would like us to create a video on a specific subject. If you like the Treatment in 10 Minutes series, please subscribe.